Volunteer fire departments like this one are the first line of defense for everything from heart attacks to house fires. Volunteers here are down 50% with calls skyrocketing. Uh, rip pack. Yeah. Firefighting is a brotherhood. Few people understand that better than Eric and Jason Vanderkoel. Yeah, <laughs> they both joined Skagit County Fire District number two 28 years ago, becoming part of a close extended family. Everybody here kind of is my brother too. I mean, it feels like um, you, when you've been here this long. But that family is shrinking. The department is down to just 20 volunteers, half what it was when the Vanderkoys joined. That mirrors a statewide trend. In 1984, there were 23,000 volunteer firefighters in Washington. That number is now 10,000. With calls, crashes, and crime rising, along with a growing population, Jason worries what impact the dwindling numbers will have on the people of his community and the rest of rural Washington. Key is response time. You know, if somebody's having a heart attack or a stroke, you need to be there within minutes. You cannot wait 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Getting new volunteers is getting harder as time goes on. Chief Brian Eckelkamp's father and two sons are members of the fire service. He says busy families, 800 hours of training, and just $12 pay per call are keeping people away. Busy people and the dedication is not what it was years ago. Without more volunteers, rural fire districts may have to turn to professional part-time fire crews, which are much more expensive. Obviously, we could raise taxes and hire paid firefighters, but you know, there's something about you know, taking care of your own with volunteers. For now, these brothers encourage people across the state to join their firefighting family. It's very rewarding, just, just knowing that you're helping somebody on their bad day. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer firefighter, you're encouraged to call or just stop by your local firehouse. In Mount Vernon, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.